compacted. See how it broke open? Now, does that look like water can penetrate it very well? No. Okay. So this is fairly compacted, and it's also fairly heavy, right? Okay. In terms of volume, it, it feels almost like you're holding a rock, doesn't it? Okay. Now, aggregated soil, aggregated soil will be significantly lighter, okay? If I were to hold the same volume of soil, it would almost feel like I was holding air compared to this, because this is very dense. And it looks like cottage cheese. Every one of you has seen cottage cheese, okay? So this soil would have those cottage cheese clumps to it, right, all over. And that creates pore space that allows water to infiltrate very, very well. So when it rains on this soil right now, okay, you're going to have a lot of ponding and pooling and then runoff because, but again, this has been degraded for 200 plus years now, right? Like I said this morning, we're dealing with an already degraded resource. But the beautiful thing about it is, guys, in two years with the right management, we can have built significant aggregation so that instead of this being able to infiltrate only three-tenths of an inch of rain an hour, in two years you will be, be able to infiltrate 10 plus inches an hour. That kind of an increase in that short period of time. Now, I said we're going to use all of our senses, so, you know, I've got my sense of touch, and I feel what it feels like, and I can feel that this is very dense and also very heavy. Okay? You guys? So if you smell this, an aroma is critical, guys. You want to smell everything in nature, okay? Aroma teaches you a ton about what's going on out here. So if I smell this, what does it smell like to y'all? Okay, and I, I knew that was going to come. Okay. <laughs> Some people are going to say nothing. But if you really pay attention and you let your nose. Okay, okay. All right. It has almost an aroma like algae, right? Okay. Very good observation, and you're correct. Now, so tell me why. Okay, so it, it's compacted. It's compacted, it's not infiltrating well. And when water does get down there, what's it doing? It's staying there, right? Okay. So, right. So this is anaerobic in nature, guys. And anaerobic in nature is going to have either a sour, musty, or algal type aroma. Okay? You got a good nose. A very good nose. All right. If it has a, and let's see up closer to the soil surface here. All right. Now it's very different up closer to the soil surface. And very, right? Okay. So. You got the good nose. I want you to tell me again. All right. What do you? What is that aroma? How would you describe that? Different, right? Yes, it is different. Okay. No, it smells. It smells more mineral-like. Okay. So. Oh, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Were you a wine sommelier or something? I mean, here. Okay. So, yes, exactly. Mineral, metallic. Yeah. Right. Okay, so almost like a copper penny, right? Okay, now what does that tell you? Highly bacteria centric, aerobic rather than deeper where it's anaerobic, but highly bacteria centric. I want that deep, rich, earthy aroma. Okay, that tells me I have a balance. So I can do tests to determine my microbial makeup in the soil, and we do that all the time. But my nose, I can tell every day through my nose, right? Every day. What kind of progress I'm making? Am I, am I doing good or not? I also, what I want to see 
is I want to see life in here. I want to see biology. So what's one of the things that I would love to see a bunch of when I take a shovel full? Earthworms. Exactly. So when I take a shovel full, you know, I'd love to see a whole bunch of earthworms here. Now, if I look here, you see these clumps of soil stuck together up near the surface? Okay. Those are soil aggregates. Okay. These are the aggregates. So if I if I have highly aggregated soil, I'm going to have a whole bunch of those and it looks like that. Okay. So that's what I want. That's what I want this soil to look like all through and as deep down into the layer of the soil as possible. 